Alrighty, folks, we are back for part two of today's episode, and you are being led down this long black hallway by this imp that is flying in front of you as he goes, All right, meatbags, pay attention. Only have to explain this once, and I do not repeat myself. Silicon Toll. I'm cent- sorry, what was that? Silicon Toll, center <laughs> of labyrinth. The what, what toll? You get there by overcoming <laughs> five rooms. Inside every room, big brain challenge. If you overcome big brain challenge, you go on to next room. If you do not overcome big brain challenge, then physical challenge that kills you, hopefully, if there is any justice in universe and makes Brimstone very, very, very happy. Understood? I don't care if you weren't understood. All right. Next thing for you to know. Mm, Let's see. Let's see. Anything else? What can I hide from them? What can I not tell them? Aha! Yes. Between every room, fortune. Between every room, chance. Randomness. Good luck in death. All right. Now we go in silence. In what? Silence. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Ah, Well, that was clear. Yeah. Around you, you hear this (laughs) voice that goes, Brimstone... And the uh, imp will look up and go, Nah, yes, master. And this voice will go, The lanky one with the beautiful hair and the cool attitude. (laughs) Treat him as an animal companion. Don't include him in the intellectual challenges. Um, And Brimstone will kind of look back at Jeff for a moment and go, If you're sure, boss. And no response comes after that. Mm. Oh, that's okay. 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 That's fine. A sort of shimmering silver orb will go past you, and Brimstone will point it out and go, I that scries is how contestants see all the ways in which you do foolish things and get you killed. Do not touch. Do not interfere. Do not fuck with. Otherwise, you get booted out of games, and then you don't get to die, and I am not as happy as I could be. Okay. Oh, good. noted. Good to know. Good to Don't know. touch the thing. Mm-hmm. Unless we want to make you unhappy. No. Don't touch thing. <laughs> Got it. I'm just joshing. We've silence. I said we travel in silence now. Brimstone will kill them all. And it will all be... Like this, like Brimstone low-level silence. muttering continues. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I called quiet fuck. But eventually, you arrive at sort of this door, and Brimstone goes, "We will wait for signal now, and then you go into first challenge." Okay. okay. Is there anything? Anything you don't want us to know? Anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Broomstone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not welcome. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to figure out the logic of this this guy. I can't do it. Um Okay. I feel I feel great today, guys. I just yeah. feel like mm-hmm. I've got a new lease on life. I don't care. <laughs> this is I irrelevant. Think I was talking to us. Yeah, I, I was respect. not talking to you, Brimstone. I can still express my displeasure. <laughs> That's true. You do have. Free it is wealth. a free country. More or less. In this yeah. house that you are guests of. There's kind of this like, and Brimstone will go, good, games are over. Games are beginning, rather. Conversation can be over. And he will push open the door and kind of go, in you go, in you go. Come on, come on. Okay. Thanks, Brimstone. Thanks, Brimstone. Quiet. Quiet means you walk faster. Walking faster (laughs) means dying quicker. Dying quicker means Brimstone more happy. Ooh, what's that? Cal just points to something. So the room that you're entering (laughs) is pitch black, except for this, like, like spotlight of light 
into sort of this raised platform on which three chairs are sitting, kind of in a triangular fashion, all pointing towards the center of the platform. And Brimstone will go, you take seat, you take seat. Okay. 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 And there's only three chairs. Yes. He is okay. like dog for purposes of great games. That's what so Master much said. More than a, so much more than a dog. But sure. To my yeah, eyes, you we'll are all it. dogs. Mm, mm. That's becoming clear. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've yeah. got a very cat like thing going on, Brimstone. So that makes sense. Would you just sit down so that we can do this? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Brimstone. Okay. So we for you. Down. For you. So you all sit down, right? Yes. He will go. Okay, Brimstone needs to. And he will sort of, you know, like hold a claw up to his neck, and then in a much deeper voice will go. And now, and there's sort of this drum roll that goes on in the room around you. We are going to get ready Sal for the goes first brimstone. game <laughs> of the great games. Welcome to Tower of Secrets. And a bunch of lights turn on. Magical applause is like ringing around you. And behind where Beth is sitting right now, you see this kind of metallic statue that is holding up this triangle that is many feet across, and within it are what look like seven panels of glass that are sort of inlaid in this giant triangle. And Brimstone will go, Yes, you heard it right. Our first challenge today is Tower of Secrets, the game where one player must give hidden clues to try to help their very stupid teammate try to guess the <laughs> secret word. The rules are very, very simple. Yes. One person at a time gives hints and tries to get the other person to guess what the word that they are trying to get at is. They cannot say the word or any variation on the word. You have 60 seconds in which to make your teammate guess seven hidden words, and they will appear on the tower behind you one at a time. If you can get all seven, then you will be spared the confrontation with the guardian of this room, and you will be able to advance onto the second room. Players, are we ready? Yes. Yeah? I guess. I guess. He will take. I would will love to be the clue giver. He will take his yeah, finger like... <laughs> off his throat and go. You all need to give clues, and you all need to give answers. We do this in turns, one at a time. Understood? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And it is very simple. And we have to get them all. We have to get them all right. You need to get at least fifteen. Is the threshold for this one? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If okay. you do, thanks, Brimstone. If you don't like one of the clues, that, or you don't like one of the answers that you have to try to get the other person to guess, then you say pass and move on to next clue. Understood? Brimstone, is this like password or hundred thousand dollar pyramid? <laughs> I do not understand these references, made back, <laughs> But if can one I of them more than one death, clue, I hope, can I give? <laughs> I hope that it is the one. Uh, Gabriel can answer your question here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is it just one clue, or is it I just like keep like taboo, or like do I just go like bye bye? No, you can speak. You it. can speak as much as you want. Okay, yeah. cool. Like it is not a single word. Yeah. Yeah, that would be password. Cool. Um. Let's stop for a moment, the in characterness, mm -hmm. and just make sure that we're all understanding like what the game is before we get started. Yeah. Um, yes. Everyone has kind of a sense of what we're doing. We're describing a thing to the others. We have a time limit. Mm -hmm. Are we? Is that for each clue, or is it to get as many clues in the time? So you have. You will get a list of seven words that are the words mm -hmm. that you need to get the other person to guess. You're trying to get as many of them as possible in sixty seconds. Cool. And is it just one person guessing at a time? Yes. Okay. Oh, Lord. Uh, and uh, you said we couldn't say like a variant of the word, so... So, you know, for example, if the secret word is house, you can't say house, mm -hmm. you also can't say housing, for example, or household. Gotcha, but you, um, right. But you could say... Abode uh, would be fine. Live, like, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. A place where you live. Yeah. Right. Like, that, yeah. is all, that is all within bounds, but, you know... Cool. Technically speaking, housing is a different word, but I think that we can all agree that it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It has the word in it. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. 
Um, Brimstone will go, the bard has decided that he wants to give clues first. And with this, the chairs that you're in will like rotate. Whoa. So Whoa. that now, Cal, you have your back to sort of, you know, the great glass triangle. And okay. Mike, you are sort of staring forwards into Cal and into the triangle behind you. Um, Got it. So, Mike, go ahead and go into our shared drive and right. into Satis's handout. Okay, cool. I should also pull this up. And you Got should it. see a thing that tells you to not start scrolling until yes. I tell you and, to. Until the game begins. Um, I need to... Okay, wait. No, I don't actually need this right now. I have this written down because I did a smart thing. Um, you a smart thing? It happens a so rarely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brim and are we both guessing? Sorry, no. No, so, I think is it just, just me? Just first? Me, yeah, yeah, me to Cal. So just okay. just sad as to Cal. <laughs> you are you are out of this round, Beth. You do not need to worry. Probably for the best. <laughs> Um, I'm nervous. Brimstone will go, are you ready? Go yes. Team. Go, yeah. team. go team. Go team. Um, Maybe. As I'll ever be. He'll sort of go, crowd, are you ready? And again, you'll sort of hear this, you know, you don't know if it is just purely an illusion or if it is maybe cheering that is happening elsewhere getting ported into this room. But you hear the sort of roar of applause and just, woo, just people cheering for you. All right. Okay. Everybody ready? Mm-hmm. Three, yes. two, one, go. Uh, when we begin a fight, we need to roll for... Initiative. Yes. Uh, it's it's like a spell, but you get an infinite of them. Cantrip. Uh, it's not a shield, but it's a... Sword? Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is a, an old building with turrets and uh, big... Uh, people shoot bows and arrows from the top of them. Yes, Castle. Uh, it's not the, uh, the 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 sand, but the water part. The ocean. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's w earth, wind, water, fire. These are all elements. Uh huh. And if you take coal and compress it really hard, you get a very shiny ring. Uh, but the the stone Di in it... diamond. Mm -hmm. The room bursts into applause around you. <laughs> Brimstone goes. Wow. In a dismaying turn, the first contestants have gotten seven correct words. <laughs> this <laughs> is <laughs> terrible. Nice. Great clues, Sadis. You did Thank so you. good. We can only hope oh, well. that only the bard has talent here, and that the other two will fall <laughs> flat on their faces and thus die horribly. <sighs> On to the next one. And once again, like the room will rotate. And so now, Cal, you are staring into Helena, who has her back to okay. the Great Glass Pyramid. So okay. now you so are now giving clues, I'm... Emma. And Beth, you are guessing. Okay. Go team. Okay. Um, tell me, tell me when to go. In three, two, one, go. Um, it's like your destiny. Faint your, um... Yes. Yeah. Um, when you hit someone hard, and successfully you roll for... Damage. Yeah. Damage. Uh, not heaven, but... Hell. Ooh, this is a hard one. Um, one could say Satus has a lot of this. It's like it, when you're smart but in a very uh, kind of tactile way. It, tactile you, way. Or, um, or uh, you... Like um, charismatic, performery, tactile. Um, I'm, not, I'm, not, um, I'm not describing it well. You um, can pass. You could have, okay, let's pass. pass. Okay, um, this is like a giant or a troll that uh, you like might an have. an ogre. Mm -hmm. um, I... Think you have one of these? You shoot an arrow from it. And it's that not is a time. Mm. All okay. right, still okay. got on the okay. board. On the board. We got, we yeah, got, yeah, we really got good, a few. Really we got a few. Mm -hmm. And we needed fifteen great, huh? total points, right? You have gotten eleven so far. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You okay. need four more. I'm sorry. I'm to sorry. avoid can... fiery doom and death, which I highly encourage you not to do. That would be more fun. 
Fiery Doom, yes. Fiery Death, yes. it would be terrific. Once okay. again, the room rotates. And now okay. you, Beth, are looking into sort of, you know, the glass triangle. And um, Mike, you are sort of facing her with your back mm -hmm. to the words. And by the way, um, as the correct words appear, they sort of magically light up in sort of the individual seven glass panels that make up mm. sort of the tower mm. that this metal mm -hmm. statue is holding. Um, we can't kind of do that here in this like audio only <laughs> visual format, but just so that yes. you get a full just sense of the it. set here. Yes. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, players? Yes. Yes. All right. You got the PDF open to the first page, Beth? Yes. All right. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> If you're not alive, but you're not the opposite of alive, you're like a vampire, you are... Undead. Exactly. Um, if you're in a dangerous situation in the games we're playing, you have to roll this particular thing. If you think you're going to die, you might have to roll this. Oh, like a, res uh, like a resurrection roll. Uh, uh, no, it, it's not specifically about resurrection. It's about if you're in a perilous situation, you have to roll this type of roll in strength or oh, dexterity uh, or saving throw. Exactly. Um, if so, you can make this sort of attack, if somebody comes at you and exposes opportunity, an attack of opportunity. Um, this is better than gold, silver, and bronze. Even higher level of metalness. Oh, um, uh, uh, obsidian, uh, um, titanium, platinum. Yes, uh, okay. uh, this is something you see the future in. It's cloudy and it's glass, and you see the future in oh, this like if a, you're a fortune a, teller. A magic orb, uh, a, a uh, yes, magic so ball. Like, uh, like, yes, it's made of a specific um, see-through glass. Glass. Uh, uh, let's skip it. Skip. If I give you something to drink that might kill you, End that, that could be... Time. Uh, poison! I think he got the poison. I think he got the poison. <laughs> You know how, like, Brimstone will look after the moment and be like, Judges, don't tell me. And then, you know, there's the ding, and he goes, God damn it, Judges. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I am horrified to report that these pathetic meat bags have achieved 15 points, which means that their entrails get to remain internal for now. So close. But we will see Ooh. how they do on the second challenge. And there will be sort of this, like, <laughs> and one of the stone walls will begin parting as a, you know, walkway reveals itself, going deeper into sort of this compound. And Brimstone will go, step quickly and meet your second challenge after a quick roll of fate. Quickly, quickly, come on, come on, stop wasting time. Come on, well done, further, team. What's well done. Go, team. What, was the, what was the glass ball one I couldn't get? Crit Crystal, Crystal ball. ball. Crystal ball, damn it. Okay, well done. Well, what was the was, tactile way that It was satisfies? common sense. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's hard common to sense. describe. That's yeah. hard to describe, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was nowhere near getting that, but I do I should have. I should have done each word individually, yeah, but once yeah. I got there, it was Not rare, right. but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. The, the, the adrenaline is real it. in the moment. Yeah, like, it in the is. Moment, it really is. Yeah. I know. A tactile way? What the hell? I kind of know what you mean, though. Like, like that right? makes sense in my mm -hmm, head. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. We Thank did you. very good. We that was did. Wonderful. And I Woo. hope that's it for intellectual challenges. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> four more. Four more, says Brimstone. Oh, what? Yeah. God. All okay. right. So he leads you. The walkway goes to this little alcove where you arrive at a railing, and past that, the room is dark. And Brimstone will sort of again hold up a claw to his throat and go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our contestants to play Wheel of Misfortune. And boom, <laughs> like the lights will light up in the room. And there will be this like gigantic wheel that you can just reach. And as you spin it, it will stop somewhere where a gigantic red arrow is pointing into the wheel oh. itself. I Excellent. wonder if Sir Patrick of Sajak will be here. <laughs> <laughs> And Brimstone will go, this is a little bit of randomness and a little bit of fate that is going to be sprinkled into the contestant's journey after every one of the challenge rooms. We need Great. you all to spin the wheel once. Who would like to go first? Yes. Helena. Yes. Step on up and please roll a bad one that causes you to die faster. <laughs> Thank you for that. You are very welcome. Please die. 
and you. Um, <laughs> cows out. Um, you am I rolling a 20? Roll a d20, here? yes, please. <laughs> oh dear, I get a six. The wheel stops at a symbol of a diamond, which lights up with a blue light. And then for a moment, you also glow with a blue light, which fades away. And Brimstone will go, Unfortunate! The wheel has fallen on diamond, giving our player a spot of good fortune in the future, letting them automatically make their next challenge when their life is in peril or danger. Uh, Systematically, your next saving throw, you are going to automatically succeed on it. Very cool. Hey, Gabrielle, just a quick question that I should have asked earlier. Would you say that when Cal was hanging out with the Night Star, (laughs) she maybe, like, healed (laughs) a little bit? (laughs) Would would you say the experience... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> was a I would was a I I know one. I would I would um, this is uh, I, this is the thing that I should have mentioned I think that she's back to yes. full health. Okay, yeah. great. Thank nice, you. nice. It's good because you're puny. Yeah, I'm slightly, <laughs> slightly less puny now, ever great. so slightly. But uh huh, rocking a thirty-five. What are we talking? Fifty-one. <laughs> I'm up to my Ooh. Ooh. Oh, That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, and look at you. My armor class is now 15 when I'm not wearing armor. Check that out. Check that Pretty out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Who would like to go next? This is a conversation that is happening when you could all be dying. <laughs> I want to go again. You cannot do that, meatbag. Step away from the wheel. Sorry. I will. I will go. Please go and get one of the really bad ones. I'll do my best, Brinstone. I don't believe in you. Eight. <laughs> oh, Lord. The wheel stops at this um, image of what looks like a fairy or a pixie, perhaps. And mm-hmm. it glows pink for a moment. And then you glow pink as well, Cal. And then Sadas and Helena seem to be getting taller and taller and oh, taller. No. Mm. Oh, no. And then you realize that, no, hang on a second. It's you no. wait, that are shrinking. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Eventually stopping when you are about the size of a hand, like held upright. Oh, so tiny. Wow. Encouraging. Our contestant will be so much easier to kill the moment that their big dumb brains force them into a combat situation. This calls What's for a celebration. <laughs> uh, this is not great. I disagree. Okay. I'm thrilled. It's okay. Fuck it's okay. you, Brimstone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, uh, you know, you can still do stuff, Cal, and uh, you yeah. can ride on me or maybe Jeff. Um, yeah. yeah, Jeff, maybe Jeff steps sneaky. up to you and you kind of feel a yeah. slight <laughs> blast of air as it seems that Volt is putting his face quite close to you and kind of looking yeah. up and down at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, it's me. Please don't blow me over. <laughs> if somebody could please pick up the tiny useless tiefling, we could move on to our last <laughs> contestant. Okay, Cal, do you, do you want to, who, whose shoulder do you want to be on for now? I'll, I'll be on your shoulder, Helena. Okay, just let me know if you want to, here we go, okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. Cool. So humiliating. You're all right. Yeah. For the record, it's actually quite comfortable up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice <laughs> this, is, this is nice. I've never been yeah. this tall before. Uh, well, I've got this fancy <laughs> nice armor, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Satya steps up. All right, roll me a d20, Mike. <laughs> that would be a 12. Oh, interesting. Um, <laughs> the wheel stops at the image of a drop of water. 
and mm. it glows white for a moment, and then you glow white for a moment. And do me a favor and go into your character sheet and hit that long rest button. Oh, huge. Love that. I despise this. This is not <laughs> what I wanted at all. Our meat bag has been rejuvenated. Uh, this oh, is that's terrible. Huge. Oh, oh, yes, that's oh, just amazing. Yes, great, great. Yes. Let's not oh, dwell wonderful. on this unfortunate turn and move on to the next room, which will hopefully be <laughs> the vivisection room. This way, please. <laughs> there is sort of a new burst of applause around you as brrr, another stone entryway kind of makes mm -hmm, itself mm -hmm. felt. Thanks, Brimstone. You're not welcome. <laughs> please go faster. I want to keep him. I hate you, Brimstone. The feeling is very <laughs> mutual, tiny, tiny tiefling. <laughs> A tiny, tiny tiefling. I like that. Tiny, 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 tiefling. tiny tiefling. Cal the bronze tiefling. Yeah, Cal the, Cal the tiny, tiny bronze tiefling. <laughs> Past this next entryway, there is another sort of similar dark room with um, a stage up front. But now... Instead of kind of being chairs that are set up in triangle, it almost looks like a booth with um, three chairs all on the same side. Um, and Brimstone will sort of go, Taxi, taxi, we need to get set up for the next one. Uh, you, I guess, should just sit on little desk part instead of on chair. Otherwise, we won't be able to see you because now you're minuscule and useless. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Helena. No problem. All right, here we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the second challenge in the Great Games, it is time for the challenge of knowing your true companions. It is oh. the New Adventurers game! And these, oh. you know, like a bunch of like colored lights will light up around you, revealing sort of all these decorations with hearts and sort of other kind of, you know, like romantic things interspersed with swords and shields and bows. <laughs> And there are these two statues that are kind of, you know, the basically like those column statues that are women holding up sort of like this like big stone archway that crosses the center of the room. And Brimstone will go, yes, it is the game where we see if our adventurers really know each other the way that they should and the way that they claim to. We are going to get ready or each of our contestants is going to have to answer two questions about their relationship with the other people in their team. But will their answers match up with their teammates? Only time will tell, and that time is now, and hopefully it is a time <laughs> of death. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, for this next round, we're going to need um, something for you guys to write on. Does everybody have okay. a pencil, a paper, um, something like see. that with you? Yeah. I should, yeah. yeah. Hold on. This one is forgiving. Our contestants only need to get half the questions right to avoid the horrible, horrible fate that I sincerely hope befalls them. So kind, Brimstone. I am nothing of the sort. I am a born sadist. I can tell you're a big softie. That is not by choice. <laughs> I am exactly as resistant as the underworld gods have made me. Okay. Okay, so the way that this is going to work, we're going to just kind of do like a quick and dirty express version of the newlywed game here. Mm -hmm. So the way that it's going to work is you're going to be matched up with one other person at a time. Um... And what you're both going to get a question. One of you is going to write down the answer. And then the other person is going to try to predict what the person whose answer was just written down was. Mm -hmm. And if the answer matches, then you get a point. If the answers don't match, then you will not get a point. There will be no discussion amongst the players. Otherwise, you will be forfeiting that point. Please! Talk amongst yourselves. A lot. I beg of you. <laughs> so, for the first one, let's start with Cal and Helena. Okay. So, Helena, please write down, 
out of the two of you, who is the who is more likely to get lost? Between Cal and Helena, who is more likely to get lost? Okay. All right. Cal, who do you think Helena would say is more likely to get lost out of the two of you? I think Helena would say Helena. Can we please see what you wrote down, Helena? I vote me, Helena. <laughs> Unfortunate. That is a point for our contestants. I think that's fair. Okay. It's I mean, not true. It's person. not true, Helena. I'd get lost. You're good at seeing in the dark, though, and, you know, That's true. I'm, I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> okay, so now we have Sadis and Cal. Mm -hmm. So okay. Cal should write this down. Okay. If your partner, i.e. Sadis, was an animal, what animal mm -hmm. would they be? Oh. And, and, just to be clear, animal, not monster. So yeah. only only animals found in the real non D and D world, not okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So now, Sadis, what do you think Cal wrote down as the answer to this question? I would guess owl because they're wise. You can't, can't see it. I can't, I can't see, see, it, see it. But but it says owl. <laughs> oh, yes. owl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would encourage you guys to, as possible, write it big. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think it's more the light. The, yeah, yeah, the sure. ring light yeah. is just blacking it out. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, sorry. Uh, incredible. Here, I can turn I off my ring light for this for this part. It was very impressive, you two. Let me just write test and see. Okay, test shows up. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> that's great. I think I would have said fox. Owl is such a good shout, though. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to, my face will be in shadow. But Ooh. That's okay. Ooh, for this, for this game, yeah. it's <laughs> dramatic lighting. <laughs> Dramatic. Um, okay, so now, um, one second, just to see. So, yes, so now, Sadis and Helena. So the question, and this time it would now be Mike writing it down. Yeah. Between the two of you, who has more excess, Sadis or Helena? Oh. More excess? Ooh. Cal's like, ooh, I want to know. <laughs> Gosh, we've never really delved mm -hmm. into Sadis's. <laughs> As someone that just wants you all to be dead, I find this to be irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you got a question written down? The answer written down? I've rather? got... I do. Okay. So, Helena, what do you think is the answer? Um, I think that Satis has put that I have more exes. Unfortunately, I have not. <laughs> <I've> no. <been> <laughs> a player and we didn't know <laughs> it's more of yeah. a, i know you're in a more of a committed situation and i do I, I, uh, yes i and i soon certainly it will be am. a committed situation with death yes good, <laughs> good. <clears throat> oh no we are halfway through the game our, our players are still have everything to win and lose <laughs> okay so now cal to Sadis. so Sadis, you're writing this down okay between the two of you, who is the most competitive? Um. Okay, Cal, what do you think Sadis wrote down? I think Sadis wrote down Sadis. Sadis indeed wrote down Sadis. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, love a competition. Hate yes. to lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. Unfortunate! <laughs> <laughs> Now it is Sadis to Helena. Uh, no, excuse me. Yes, we. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, mm -hmm. And so now it would be Helena writing this down. Correct. Okay. So Helena, between the two of you, who has the worst handwriting? Oh. <laughs> 
Um, okay. <laughs> I think Helena wrote Helena because earlier today we talked about how good my handwriting is. I put me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because it's obviously true. Yeah. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> These adventurers seem to know each other. <laughs> and finally now, um, Helena to Cal. So now it's you writing down Emma. Yes. So between the two of you, who has the shortest temper? Ooh. <laughs> These are good. You know, I just don't know. I feel like we both have our moments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Cal can be really angry and vengy and murdery and <laughs> sorts of things. Um. I think it's 50 50. That um, is not an acceptable answer. <laughs> no kidding. I can't find a friend either, I bet. Um, uh, I think that Cal put Cal. Yes! Yay. Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Our players have overcome the second challenge. Yay! <laughs> Please step lightly and meet your next brush with the gods of fortune and chance. Another sort of like stone entryway like opens. Come on, come on. You know the drill. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurrying through. Having fun, Brimstone? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All your organs are still very distressingly internal. I'm not having fun. I'm sorry to hear that. We'll try harder. Please do. You once again arrive at the same alcove where the Wheel of Misfortune is waiting for you. So, once again, we need one roll from everyone. Mm -hmm. right, I'll go first. Go first. Sure, yeah. I'll go first. Yeah. I haven't last previously. That would be a 13. <laughs> So oh, no. the 13, the wheel stops at a caricature of a ghost. Um, mm -hmm. And that glows black oh, for a moment. No. And then, Sadis, your body crumples and just like falls mm. to the floor. And you see it happen as you are now standing in kind of this translucent spectral form mm -hmm. above it. And Brimstone yeah. sort of goes... Our challenger is incorporeal for the rest of the great games. That is most I mean, of the way to being dead. I am look, <laughs> pleased by this development. I'm not a puncher anyway, so I that think this could go should be okay. Favor. Yeah, maybe it'll be maybe? like ghost type Pokemon, and no. normal attacks can't affect me. <laughs> I am unfortunately forced to tell you that your body will be extremely well taken care of, and its safety guaranteed, <laughs> unless That's everyone else in your team dies, in which case it will be disposed of with extreme prejudice. Please, <laughs> please, please, let me dispose of it with extreme prejudice, you two. That would be a good day for Brimstone, me. Okay, okay, well, d d don't worry, Satis. Me and um, Jeff and Fairy Cow are totally gonna look after you. We got you. Your body. We got yeah. you. That's yep. good to me. Not gonna Ooh. let you die. <laughs> <laughs> Two other oh. smaller imps, now kind of green, sort of, you know, like crawl <laughs> in and basically load Satis's body onto a stretcher and then scurry away with it. Good Once stuff. again, his health and possessions are guaranteed. This is a promise from the Wizard of the Silk Rento. Who would hey. like to step up next to the Wheel of Misfortune? This has been a good one so far. Let's keep it going. I'll do it. If you can. Uh, uh, can I? <laughs> Roll me a strength check with disadvantage. Okay. Eight. You cannot. You are, okay. <laughs> you know. Do I forfeit? I forfeit Brimstone my, my misfortune. Go. You are, your friend is allowed to help you if you 
both right. of you have your oh, hands okay. on it at the I'll same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, Cow. We can. There. Good stuff. Roll me a d20. Six. Uh, roll me again because six we have already done. Okay. Three. <laughs> oh, man. No! Cal, <laughs> you are. Would you say that I'm like inspired or something and I could. <laughs> the wheel stops at this image of this hunched over man walking with a cane and it glows huh? red for a moment uh -huh. and then you glow red and when the glow fades away you have aged into the tiefling equivalent of a person <laughs> in their early 60s mm. you're still in early good 60s. shape that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, once, okay. <laughs> once again, like the tiefling equivalent of it. Okay. Um, yeah. So pause for one second while I go into your character sheet. Ah, jeez. And make some quick. Oh, maybe mm, can I do this? Yes, yes, I can. This is gonna be fine. This sixties and you fifty. It's all good. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're a pixie, but, you know, it's I'm fine. A, I'm a 60-year-old pixie. <laughs> okay, go ahead and refresh your character sheet, Emma. Okay. Your dexterity and constitution have both fallen, but oh, your wisdom God. has risen. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, just like in general, your bot, your tiny, tiny body aches. Uh. <laughs> uh. Brimstone will Me. go... Terrific uh, development! The tiny useless tiefling is now an elderly tiny useless tiefling. Surely hey. the jaws of death will have no trouble clamping down upon her. No. This has been a tremendous round of the Wheel Ow. of Misfortune. Let's finish it off with our third and final contestant. Uh, sure. Right. Uh, uh, eight, have we had that? Oh my god. I think so didn't I roll an eight? Did you roll an eight? I did. Yes, yes, I? yes, you did. So roll again. Okay. Yeah, an eight is the uh, shrinking is the down. Is the pixie? Yeah. yeah. This time I get a twelve. Um, a twelve, I believe, is what Mike rolled in the first round. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. I've got plenty of rolls. I've got rolls all day. Now I have a fifteen. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> The wheel stops at the image of a sun, um, and Sounds it good. glows for a moment, and then so does your throat, and then goes away. <laughs> and Brimstone will go, hmm, how intriguing. Young miss, could you please try to tell us that your name is Alvira? And he'll hold up like an imaginary microphone up to you. Um, so... My name is Elvira. That's what you think you say, but in a moment afterwards, you realize that you say, my name is Helena Hailstorm. And he will go, uh, fantastic! So can... The contestant has been rendered unable to tell lies until the end of the great games. I can't lie. Okay. Hopefully hey. that won't be necessary. Yeah. yeah. You never know what's coming up, but let's keep the fun rolling and move on to challenge number three. And another like stone walkway makes itself visible. Let's, I think, like okay. now that we're between challenges here, let's take our last break of the day and then we'll okay. advance on to part three. You're really giving yeah. me a great like voice acting challenge. I know, I was thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the commitment yeah. to squeaky tiny yeah. cow. Yeah, now squeaky tiny old cow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And your next misfortune, you are French. Sacre <laughs> 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 All righty, folks. We'll be back in five I'm minutes. Here.